Hi, and welcome back to Dog on RV and Travel with My Girls. Well, if you see my face change different colors as if I was blushing, that's not me. That's the reflection of the TV uh, coming off my face. So don't be alarmed. I'm not sick. I'm not an alien. And everything is fine. Anyway, this video was supposed to be one of me uh, preparing my RV for our road trip next month. However, it's taking me longer to get my RV worked on because I took a few items that were on my Phase 5 plan and pushed them into my Phase 4 plan. So that's why it's taken a little bit longer to get it done this time. Anyway, I'm real excited about it. I went down, checked out their progress, looked at what they'd done, and I couldn't be happier with the changes on Phase 4. It's fantastic. And like I said in my other videos, I will cover every phase of improvements and upgrades I've done to my RV in this past year and a half in a separate uh, video this coming year. Anyway, um, I should get it back next week and then I'll be packing it during the next couple of weeks and preparing it for our trip come the new year. Also, another thing I'm really excited about is my son who is a graphic artist. Him and I have been working on a unique and graphic logo design for my channel. He brought over some ideas uh, during Thanksgiving dinner, showed me, and I was totally blown away. He's come up with a black and white graphic and a color graphic of the logo. And I was going, yeah, now that's awesome. So that is something I will be presenting to you on my uh, January video once we're on the road. It's going to be how I brand my channel and how I make my channel stand out from all the rest. And when you see the graphic logo my son's come up with, I think you'll agree it's pretty darn sharp. Yeah. So, anyway, the girls are fine. I'm fine. Uh, the weather up here is uh, fine. Uh, we have that blob off the Pacific along our coast that usually causes a warmer uh, climate in our area for winter and that's exactly what it's doing it's totally flip-flop from what it was like this time last year when we were having torrential rains wind storms up to the 70 miles an hour and uh, just pretty pretty all miserable but uh, lucky for us California and Arizona is getting what we usually get this time of year. So hopefully when we get down that direction this new year, all that will be cleaned up, dried up, and fine. Because I'd really like to have some warm, sunny weather down there this time when we go down instead of snow and temperatures 20 below normal during the season. So I'm looking forward to a much better winter trip down through the southwest than last year was. So anyway, uh, the girls are fine. I'm fine. We're right now we're just kind of in a holding pattern. I'm waiting to get my RV back so I can start going through it again and putting things away, finding places for it, using all the changes I've made uh, to pack better and uh, get ready for a, a long interesting road trip where hopefully we'll see many fascinating things uh, old new uh, pretty pretty excited because we like to boondock dry camp camp in national forests you know uh, so if you're interested in stuff like that well then hang out with us You'll see a lot of different things. And if you happen to see something that you've seen before, believe me, you'll see it in a whole new light with us. So Kate, Kate's down here just kind of snoozing, watching me 
wondering what I'm doing talking to this little device. Katie, what you doing? Are you going to ignore me? Huh? You're just going to ignore me. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, I want to thank everyone for taking the time to watch this short little video. Uh, it's an update. Uh, others are going to start coming now. The plan is to do my next one, which will be of me packing the RV and uh, showing how I do it, telling you why I do it, what I pack, things I've found for being a, a tight camper. And then after that, the videos are going to be of our travels on the road and our adventures, where we're going, what we're doing. So um, if you guys like... Uh, checking out wineries along the way, museums, uh, you know, interesting places that it seems a lot of others don't go to. And I think you'll be happy with what you see. And you'll learn things, too. So that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. And my next video will be a little more informative and action-packed and you'll see how I pack up for a trip and some of the things I take and how I organize my RV for myself and my dogs for a uh, long road trip. So thanks again and please subscribe. Thumbs up if you like my videos when you see them. Please comment on them. I like to get feedback to know uh, what's going on with the people that follow me and what they're interested in and what they thought of my video if they enjoyed it if they learned something new from it uh, because I'm doing this not only for the fun of it but to uh, entertain people that might not know or see the things that I see and maybe they can come up with their own list of things to do and places to go from what they see us do so keep in touch watch for our new videos coming out and thanks for being one of our subscribers if not hit that button subscribe because we're not everybody else's channel we are the doggone RV channel so take care everyone thanks again Talk later.